my image editing script has reached full power. Behold, I now have image previews. I have fuzzy findings so I can search out a string and it will search through all various subdirectories. And I have all of my image magic options bound to various shortcuts. And because this is FCF, I can multi-select images if I wanted to execute the same shortcut on multiple images. So let me give you a demonstration here. Say I want to make this black and white, it would just be control B. And to actually view it, it's going to be a separate image for the sake of non-destructive editing. So that way, you know, in case I select the wrong image, it's not going to modify my original. Um, say I want to then put a white border on this image, it's just control H. And now there is my border. And say I don't want this anymore, I can just ask if I want to delete it. Yes, I do. There we go. Um, let's do something on a few different images at once. Uh, let's select this and this and this and let's watermark it. So control W, it's going to go watermark those one at a time. Um, there we go. I will now refresh it. And if I search out watermark there, there we go. There are my watermarked images. And I probably have to deal with that to actually scale the, the watermark properly. But that's an image magic command. Um, obviously, I still have a little bit more to edit with the script. But yes, that is a watermarked image. And if I want to go ahead and open these up in GIMP, well, I can do that. Let me just select some, some random images here. Um, open them up with control G. It is going to turn that FCF process into GIMP. And here are my various images all ready to edit in GIMP. But this is not all. I have taken this concept and I have applied this with multiple other scripts. So my classic wallpaper menu script is now using the same concept, FCF plus Uberzug plus plus. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I did look up the pronunciation this time. So um, I can go ahead and set this wallpaper. It's just going to automatically draw the color scheme with Pywall. Um, but if I wanted to use one of my preset color schemes, then I have bindings for that. I can set my preset color schemes. I've got them, you know, bound up here with like a little reference just in case I forget what the uh, bindings are for them. And of course, since this is a fuzzy binder, I can search through, um, say I want that one painting that I really like, this one. I can go ahead and set that painting. Um, say I actually want to edit the colors on this painting. Well, I can open it up with GIMP and it will go ahead and open that painting and I can then edit the colors and save it and then set it as my wallpaper. So this is just truly the, the perfect wallpaper menu experience. And I have one more script to show you. I also have clipboard history um, for screenshots specifically. Um, right now it actually does support text as well, but I'm probably gonna remove that just because it makes a little bit more sense to have different menus for text versus images. But anyways, this is my, you know, image clipboard history. Um, say I go over here and take a screenshot real quick. I'll just, you know, screenshot this stuff. Okay, that is going into my clipboard history. If I pull that up again, here it is. I can actually edit this in GIMP if I want to, why not? Let's just open it up in GIMP for the sake of showing you. Okay, I could just go, you know, edit this screenshot in GIMP, whatever. Um, no, I don't want to save it though. Um, anyways, if I open that up again, I could go recopy some previous clipboard image that I had and I actually have it not close the menu. So that way, you know, if I wanted to recopy a few different images, I could do that. And I can also delete an image if I want to just delete an image. I actually have it not confirmed since I figure, you know, if I, if I press control D, I really do mean control D. Anyway, so that is my clipboard history. All right, time to explain how all of these various options work. And it's actually quite simple. It is with the FCF UB wrapper, um, which the original FCF UB script is actually on the Uprazug++ repository. Um, my version of the script is slightly different in that it actually gives you options for different sorts of menus. Um, that was the way I thought of for how to get, you know, these, these different uh, menu uh, little, you know, options here and the different bindings. I, I thought just use the second argument on FCFUB and give it the particular FCF option since FCF does allow you to set all sorts of various options. And FCF, I should mention, I'm, I'm sure you know about FCF already, but if you don't, it is just an all purpose fuzzy finder with all sorts of various options and customization. And um, the page here will walk you through the setup. So I will link it if you wanna learn how to set up FCF. If uh, you don't already have it though, I'm sure most of you or really almost all of you probably already have FCF. Anyways, so yes, FCFUB is just a wrapper script that's going to take Uberzug and add it into FCF so that way you can get, you know, the, the little image previews here. Um, so I've got my options and these are just the bindings. 
they're gonna call the specified script and then feed in the particular selected image with the braces there. So um, say, you know, I open up my wallpaper menu and I select an image. This is the actual theme that I want to select. And I actually have this, you know, control T is going to pick this particular theme. Um, and as such on my wallpaper menu, um, the second argument is actually going to go to the specified theme. The first argument is just the normal uh, wallpaper that I picked. Um, and if I don't have a second argument, then it will just draw that theme with Pywall, so drawing it directly from the wallpaper colors. Um, so that's wallpaper menu. Um, my image magic script is just image magic commands, and of course with this um, argument set up in this FCFUB script, it is just uh, gonna call the image magic command, it's gonna call the specified function, it's gonna feed in any images and it's just bound to the specified shortcut. So um, the majority of the work here was really just mapping out the correct shortcuts that I wanted and then, you know, adding in like, okay, yes, I want a label that's gonna tell me what the shortcuts are and such. Um, but yeah, this is my modified version of the FCFUB script. Um, I have it on my GitHub if you wanna get it. I also have my other scripts um, all posted there. Um, I'm actually working kind of actively on this clipboard history script since it's definitely not perfect. Um, I'm probably going to remove the, the text support. Right now it does actually support text clips, um, but it doesn't really make sense to also support text clips due to how the previewing actually would work. If I'm gonna be using FCFUB, I can't also have text previewing inside text files. So uh, essentially I'm gonna have to remove the text support from this and just keep it to image support. So screenshot, you know, clipboard history, which I think is good enough as is. I think, you know, a screenshot clipboard history is something I actually use in my workflow. So um, it's useful to have this, for me at least that is. Um, I've also got my FCFUB refresh command here in a separate script. Um, I guess you could technically just define this as a variable in the plain old FCFUB script. Um, so I, I, yeah, you could just put it as a variable in this, um, but I just have it as a refresh. Um, just when you wanna use that, just use the become command instead of execute. Um, become will allow it to refresh in the case of FCFUB. Um, but I did actually wanna mention, if you are using a terminal um, that has like Sixel graphics or anything where you're not having to use Ubersug for graphics, um, just use this plain old FCF preview script that's just on the FCF repo. I will link it. Um, it's probably a lot easier than the Ubersug workarounds because um, in the first place, Ubersug is kind of a hacked in implementation of graphics in a terminal that doesn't, you know, by default support Sixel graphics. Anyway, so that is basically how I have this set up. Um, I'm not gonna go over these scripts in too much depth, but I will probably make another video at some point going over a couple of these in more depth. Um, but for right now, they are gonna be on my GitHub. I did wanna address one more thing, which is just the overall practicality of whether making these sorts of scripts with like Fuzzy Finder in Uprazug is really, you know, a useful thing to do as, as opposed to just using like, for example, you know, a dedicated image clipboard manager, since of course those do exist. Um, and I, I have two points to make here, really. First of all, I enjoy making these scripts. And so for me, you know, the, the process of making this script is enjoyable enough to have the entire thing be worth it. Um, but second of all, you know, it does make sense to want everything customized to your particular needs, um, as opposed to somebody else's program that is customized either to a general appeal or to their particular needs, right? Um, so I, I think, you know, making your own scripts to do this sort of stuff, I, I think it's cool. I like it. Um, anyways, that's about it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have any like crazy points to make, but yeah, customization is fun. Customization is useful. Customization is cool. Anyways, that's about it. I will see you next time.